Well, hey there, fight fans, and welcome to another edition of the Speed Bag. Today, the return of a segment I like to call, Why Would You Do That? Now, as you may have heard, veteran cut man Jacob Stitch Duran kicked up a little dust recently when he told BloodyElbow.com that the UFC's exclusive apparel deal with Reebok was going to end up costing him some money. It seems that Stitch was making some pretty good coin from those sponsor logos he wore on his vest during UFC broadcasts, and now as a result of the Reebok deal, that's going away and he's being compensated not at all. Now, he wasn't a jerk about it in the interview, he just, you know, politely though bluntly laid out the economic realities of the situation, what cut men might have to do to compensate for it, and gave his opinion on it. So how did UFC officials respond? They basically just fired him. And see, the thing is, it's not the first time the UFC has fired somebody for expressing an opinion that it didn't like. But the cut man, I mean, he has an actual job to do. This isn't like firing some ring girl who said something you didn't like. The cut man has to go in there and close people's facial lacerations, and that's an important job in the MMA sphere. I mean, you saw Robbie Lawler and Roy McDonald at UFC 189, right? A guy who knows how to close a cut on your face, or at least, you know, slow the bleeding a little bit, he comes in handy during fights like that. And now, you know, the UFC had just took one of the more well-regarded cut men in the business, a guy who, you know, nobody had any complaints about his actual performance on the job, and they got rid of him. Seems like they got rid of him to send a message, and that message is, you know, everybody shut up about this Reebok thing. It also sends another message, though, that I don't think the UFC intended, and that message is, you know, fighter health and safety, them having the best possible staff around them so that the fighters can do their job on fight night, that apparently doesn't count for much. Or at least, you know, it doesn't count for enough. And the thing about it is, the best course of action for the UFC here would have been to do nothing. I mean, yeah, he gives this interview, it's going to make the rounds on the internet, going to get a few Twitter write-ons, and then people are going to forget about it. It would not have been a big deal, except by immediately firing the guy in retribution, now you've made it into a story. You've also given Reebok reason to wonder, how many bad press items are we going to get out of the privilege of getting these people millions of dollars to be associated with them? That just doesn't seem to be stopping at this point. I just don't understand it. Firing the cut man? out of retribution? Why would you do that?